Our next guest has combined her passion for real estate and yoga to create sacred spaces on and off the mat. Please welcome Yogi Realtor at the Avenue Home Collective, Nicole Murray. All right, real estate yoga. This is where the two collide. Welcome to the studio. Nicole Murray, your, your dad has actually been here twice. Yes, he has. Will has, uh, advocating on behalf of smart women. Exactly. Um, all over the place. So. Um, I would go down that rabbit trail, but I'd rather stick <laughs> with real estate and yoga because sure. we're going to talk about that, and then we're going to do some poses, I think, or something yes. that's happening in here. Um, so first of all, unusual combination, but why did you decide to bring the two together? So I was teaching full-time, teaching yoga full-time in San Diego, and then I relocated to L.A., and I was inspired because my teacher um, and the students were telling me that uh, the studio that I was teaching at, so as a fellow teacher of mine, they said that people were using the yoga studio as a sanctuary. Because as you know, LA is pretty wild. It has some uh, frenetic energy, I like to say. I avoid it like the plague. <laughs> Everyone in San Diego says that, but <laughs> LA true. is wonderful. It can be. <laughs> um, so people were using this space as a sanctuary to get away from that energy. And I thought, you know, why aren't they doing that at home? But when I would talk to them, they weren't really trying to create any sort of sanctuary in their own living space. So I decided to get into real estate and bring some yogic philosophy into my real estate practice. And how do you do that? Is it, is it about um, showing people how to buy you know, homes that are more energetically um, affluent? Or <laughs> is it you know, more about the, the process? Is that where the yoga comes in? Or where does, it come, where does the yoga actually meet the real estate? So it's all of that. Okay. And I've also integrated some of my other interests into my real estate practice. So I don't just stop at uh, assisting them with buying and selling the home. I also offer, well, I'm being trained to be a feng shui uh, practitioner. And then I also have a past in color therapy. So I get asked a lot of interior design questions. And I'm also a green designated realtor. So I assist them with eco-friendly living. So big package. That's cool. Yeah. I think it's neat because um, I don't know if we've we can see uh, Nicole's website here. You know, uh, that doesn't look easy. <laughs> but uh, yoga is cool. And I think one of the things, the reason why I started doing it was because everyone was saying yoga this, yoga that. And you, but you never heard anyone being like, oh, I tried yoga and it sucked. And I realized that one day I was just like, you know, I guess I have to try this because I've never heard anyone be like, yeah, it sucked. You know, well, it was nothing. It was not for me. It was bad. And everyone's like, no, yoga's amazing. So I tried it, and now I get it. And I've been yeah. doing it for a few years now. Um, and there's the, there's the physical element of mm -hmm. yoga, which is what most people associate with um, the postures, you know, twisting your limbs and pretzeling your body. Yes. Um, but that's really a very small portion of the overall yogic philosophy, right? Exactly. And it's, there's more, a lot more to it. And so um, I think if my understanding is that what you're doing is you're taking that side, the big chunk of yoga, and applying that to the real estate process and, ulti yeah. and ultimately the, the, the living situation, because that's really what you're doing. In real estate, you're, um, you're helping a transaction take place. Mm -hmm. But what you're really doing is you're putting someone into their own sanctuary and exactly. their own space. Mm -hmm. You're helping them find the space with which they're going to cultivate themselves for who knows how many years, but for a long period of time. Exactly. And that's so a big deal. It is. It's the biggest deal. And so <laughs> instead of just offering people yoga in the studio, I want to help them further into cultivating their own sacred space. So I do bring a lot of that energy into the transaction as well, because as we know, uh, real estate agents have a stigma or a stereotype that they like to dramatize the experience. Do they? Yes, yeah, some do. And I think reality TV did not help with that. <laughs> so <laughs> I like to use what I call the conscious force in negotiations. So you can stay zen but still get what you want for your client. And how do you do that? Well, instead of reacting with anger or becoming overly emotional, um, you can use a very calm tactic with strong words and become effective that way. Okay, <laughs> so <laughs> no, it's true. It's true. Um, you know, there there are a lot of strong arm people out there. Yes. And unfortunately, we actually talked about this with Will. Um, you know, there's a lot of that going on to achieve success, and it's certainly one way to go about it. 
But there's also um, another way, yes, um, a, a simpler way, maybe a middle way, if you want to call it that, that doesn't require that negative energy. We can right. get things accomplished with positive energy. And a lot of times, the reason why negative energy enters a situation, a conversation, or a negotiation, is because it gets the first domino gets flicked over here, and then by the time it gets all the way over here, it's a great big pile. Yeah. And then they shoot back bigger. No, no, no! I have the biggest stick. You know. Exactly. That's, and then it just that's where you end up. It's reactionary. Yeah. yeah. And it, that toxicity really breeds on itself. Yes, exactly. Um, as Eckhart Tolle calls the pain body, it feeds on itself. Oh, I love that author. Yeah, it feeds yes. itself. Um, <laughs> and then one person's pain body is feeding the other, and then you don't even have two human beings interacting anymore. You have two egos. Exactly. That causes problems. Yes. So this is really interesting to me, just to sort of, you know, mesh these two things together. Do you feel that the majority of the people who want to work with you are people who understand yoga, or do you think it is just people who want someone who is a little bit more easygoing, maybe, than your typical real estate agent? Um, so I have attracted more yoga students than I thought I would. Um, people really dig it once they understand it, but I'm really just about attracting like-minded people, and I think I am attracting those people that just want a mindful transaction, and they want someone who understands uh, a home energetically and who they are as a vibration and connecting them into their sanctuary. So um, I get a lot of yoga people, but also outside of that, people with just that mindset that want to live mindfully. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> consciously. In a free way. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Well, let's do some yoga. Um, I don't okay. think I can do that one. The one Is that it? you showed? Yeah, this we one. We can get you there. I don't, I mean, this one that's up right now. <laughs> I don't think I can do that one. Um, but it's possible. And that one is a definitely a no. <laughs> so can we go a little bit easier on me for this part of it? <laughs> yeah, we'll do that next time. <laughs> next time? Okay. Because mm -hmm. I'm still going to keep all these clothes on and stuff like that, so I'm a little bit, like, restricted. But maybe we can get, uh, maybe you can show me some alignment or something like that. Yes. Does we'll that do shirtless yoga next time, too. <laughs> okay. Naked yoga is a big thing now. It is. I know. They have it in West Hollywood. It's fabulous. Really? I've not been. But you haven't been? Yeah, I've heard I've good things about it. Me too. Interesting. It's putting a lot out there. That's <laughs> all I'll say. <laughs> all right. Let's get to it. Inhale. Exhale. Step back into Warrior One. Reach fingertips to the sky. Open that heart. Get heavy in the legs. Deepen in that right knee. Take a big breath here. Exhale, interlace fingertips behind the back. Nice. Roll open the shoulder girdle. Roll the shoulders back and lift the chest. Ooh, I heard some cracking. <laughs> Exhale, move the heart center forward. Humble warrior. Bringing the torso to the inside of that right thigh. One more deep breath. And let's power through the legs and inhale, reach high with fingertips. Deep bend through that front leg and then let's open up to warrior two. Yes. This is really fun in heels. Yeah, I was and say, shag the carpet. Way, what you have going on over there, <laughs> it's gotta be difficult. <laughs> let's flip over that front palm. And we'll back. take yes. Ooh, opening that side body and the heart. Get deep in that right hip. Knees over toes, nice. Ah, one more breath here. And exhale. Why not? Let's go all the way to the ground. Cartwheel the arms down. Oh, <laughs> why not? <laughs> Step back to plank. Are we gonna chaturanga? Yes, we are. All right, let's do it. Inhale, chaturanga. Up dog or cobra. Yes. And we'll end in downward facing dog. 